Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to be doing for you lovely lot is a video doing a full face of products that I don't use and don't like. I've seen so many people do this video and it inspired me to be like well I've got things here that I don't use and I'm not keen on so why not show you guys, make a video and have some fun doing it. Let's get into the video. So to start off with of course I'm going to be doing primer and the primer that I've had for years and never really used is the Dr. Jart Pore Refine Recovery Primer and it's this one here and it just looks like this. I think I got this in um, a Birchbox subscription last year I want to say, maybe the year before. This is like a full size tub as well which is pretty damn good for Birchbox. So I'm just going to use this. I can't really remember what the finish is like but we'll give it a go. And it comes out like this, kind of gel based. So let's see, I'm just going to put that all over. It does feel kind of sticky and like really wet. Yeah, I think I remember why I don't use this anymore. It's quite slimy. <laughs> it feels really thick on my skin as well. And the brand Dr. Jart I've never ever heard of before until I got this primer. So I have no idea what the rest of their products are like. So if you've used it before, please let me know what you think. Because it'd be interesting to find out. Okay, so that's all my side today. And I can definitely feel that it's on my skin. Uh, my hands now feel very slimy. Um, so I'm just going to give them a rub. It's okay, I'm just wearing pyjama bottoms. YouTube life. We'll see how this dries and if it affects my makeup any, in any way. So let's just move on to foundation. And the foundation I'm going to be using is the MAC Studio Sculpt SPF 15 foundation. This one here. And you might be thinking, but it's MAC, why aren't you using it? I'll tell you why. When I bought this, I bought it online, first of all. So, first mistake there, not being able to test the colour out of my skin and what it was like. And I think I bought the wrong one and I thought it was the Studio Fix. Yeah, well done, Caroline. Yet again, you are doing an outstanding job. And I mean, this just looks gross. This is why... I do not use this product. I don't even know why I still have it. It comes out like this. It looks like mousse. <laughs> like a really thick, very watery mousse. I'm going to put this on with a Real Techniques brush and see how we go. So I remember wearing this and thinking, oh, actually, it's not too bad. And then literally a couple of hours at work, it was just gliding off my face. And I don't have oily skin at all. That was what I was working with that day. And as for shading, I don't think it's too bad. Like I don't think I went too far out with my original colour. I mean, it's very like yellowy toned and I prefer a more pink toned foundation. And it smells really strange as well. It's quite oily on my skin. Like I said, I don't have oily skin. So if you do have oily skin, God knows what this would be like. So I'm kind of not sure what sort of skin tone this would suit. There we go. And as you can see, I'm looking very, very yellow. <laughs> What was I saying about finding a shade that wasn't too bad? Because damn, I look ill. That's not the right shade for you, Caroline. Foundation out of the way. Next, I'm going to be using a concealer. And the concealer that I'm going to be using is the... What? Oh, oh God, it actually knows off that brush. Yeah, the foundation that I'm going to be... Wait. The concealer that I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer in the shade 20. And it's beige eclat. And it's just this one here. And it's a stick. If you've watched my videos, you know how I feel about stick concealers. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. So let's test this out. And I've only used this once before and I just wasn't impressed at all. Um, but, you know, every, everything, everyone deserves a second chance. So here we go. Yeah, that's not doing anything at all. And it's 100% not the right shade. It just looks really dark. And that's not what you want for an under eye concealer at all. It's quite glidey. Um, let's see how it blends. Yeah, so I don't really think it's doing anything to be honest. There is no difference to my under eyes whatsoever. And at the moment I can just feel all this makeup on my skin. I just feel, re it feels really thick and uncomfortable and I just feel like I just want to wash it off right now. Someone pass me a face wipe, but yeah, nothing. So the next product I'm going to be using is Maybelline 24 Hour Stay Waterproof Powder. And it 
just looks like this here. I think this is a bit too dark for me, which is why I don't use this. It's one of those powders that when you apply it on your face, it leaves like patches everywhere. Um, but I'm hoping this will sort the foundation out and kind of matte it up because I can already feel it like sliding off my skin. So, and my brush is just sticking to the foundation. Yeah, it's, it's doing that thing where it just leaves patches everywhere. And I think the foundation's partly to blame because it's quite sticky. Let's persevere, try and blend it in as much as possible. I don't usually put powder on my eyes, but they feel really heavy at the moment. So it's not looking too bad. I still feel like I look a bit yellowy, but the feel of it is just awful. That's powder out of the way, and honestly, it, I mean, it's matted up a little bit, but this foundation is just awful. I really don't like it. I just feel so sticky and clammy and just like bleh. Yeah, let's move on. I haven't got a highlighter or a blush because, I mean, if you know me, you know I don't really use those things every day. So the stuff that I do have are ones that I would use quite often if I was going to use it. So if that made any sense. So for eyeshadow, I'm using the Pop Beauty, it's like a little palette just here. And the shades are these. Mm. Oh my god, like a quarter of this just fell onto my bed. Why does this keep happening in videos? I've got to be more careful when I open products up. Hmm. What I'm going to be doing, oh my god, I'm scared, is take this, oh, I'll just hold it, is take this middle shade here and it's like pinky, sort of peachy colour. I think this is some sort of peach palette. Yeah, peach parfait palette. So I'm just going to take the middle, oh, that's moved all the way over there. Oh god, I've made a right shit mess of this. Don't blow it, it'll go everywhere. So I'm going to take the middle one and pop it on my lids. Isn't too bad. It looks kind of pretty. But I mean, you can't really see it. It's not really shown up that good. And it kind of blends in with my eyelid. I think this is all I'm going to get out of this. We'll move on. So what I'm going to do now is take the end shade, which is just this one here. And it's more of a darker brown. And just kind of try and create a look in the inner corner. Oh, I mean, that's warmed it up quite nicely. Can see that there. That's give it a bit more like depth to it. We got a bit of something, something going on now. And just blend that out. That's okay. I quite like that end, that end shade. And now I'm gonna take this end shade, which is this nice champagne-y sort of white colour, and just pop it on my inner corner to finish the look. Oh, that's nice and bright. Now I'm going to move on to eyeliner and the eyeliner that I'm going to be using, one that I don't use at all, is the is it Ico, Ico London Fat Liquid Eyeliner in Black and it is just this one here, turn it around so you can see that and it's quite a thick um, sort of nib which is why I don't use it, I prefer more of a thin felt um, tip. I'm going to try my hand at using a thicker one, wish me luck because I feel like this is going to be a bit of hard work. <laughs> It's not looking too bad. Although, yeah, it is really thick. And I prefer to kind of like build my eyeliner up to have it at a depth that you can control. Whereas this is just like, you either have thick eyeliner or no eyeliner with this. I mean, the pigmentation's nice. It's really bold. It is a little too thick in the inner corner my liking but I mean as it goes I'm probably gonna give that a six out of ten like I said I prefer a thinner a thinner nib I don't like it it's too thick I feel like I can't I don't have control over it if that makes sense I feel like you can't get that sharp sort of look there's no knife emoji insert here because it's just very thick and blunt so next I'm gonna be doing mascara and for that I'm gonna be using the NYX doll eye mascara in waterproof black I mean, I love NYX. NYX is an incredible brand. But this mascara, I just don't feel like does anything for me. It feels very dry. You have to like do quite a lot of coats to see any results. And it's just not one that I go for. It just stays in my drawer, shut away from the world. But yeah, let's give it a go and see if I can change my mind on it. It's 
it's not too bad. It's very subtle. I mean, you can't really tell that there's much on my lashes. I don't know if you can see that. You can't really see it. I'm more of a like, wham bam, thank you ma'am, when it comes to mascara, like, it needs to be in your face. Like, you need to be able to see it, yeah? I mean, it's not the worst mascara I've ever used, but there's a reason why I don't use it. Okay, so next, I'm gonna move on to eyebrows. For eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the French Connection Brow Pencil. I mean, first of all, I can see this is far too light for me. There, although it doesn't look too bad, maybe I'm underestimating it. We'll give it a test out. Do the outline of the brows. Glides on quite nicely. Although I do think it is too light for me. You can definitely see where my like brow hair is compared to the pencil. There's no like blending in. This actually would be a really good pencil if it was just a tiny bit darker. So that's not too bad, but like I said, I can definitely see the difference in shades with my natural eyebrow hair and the product. So maybe like a bit darker would do. Yeah, I think I can probably get away with that. And next I'm going to be doing lipstick. The lipstick that I'm going to be using is the MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love. And it is a matte lipstick, which just looks like this. And this is actually a colour that I would usually go for, but for some reason I don't use this. I actually can't remember why I don't use this, but... I never ever ever go for it. Maybe it's just because I've got ones that I know are better and know that suit me better so I'm just like, uh, I forget about it and it's just like an abandoned little lipstick sat in my bag crying, use me please. <laughs> but let's give it a go and see if I like it. Oh, it's quite creamy. Why don't I use this? I mean, looking at it on camera, it does look a little... It's a bit too light for me, I think. Is it too light? Oh, I don't know. Like, half of me is like, yeah, it looks a bit too light. And half of me is like, nah, you're smashing it. It looks good. It's actually okay, and it feels really nice. It doesn't feel drying. It feels very moisturising, if I'm honest. Honey, love, coming at you. I might have to try and remember to pick this up more often. I didn't expect this video to be surprising me with products that, you know, Carolyn, you should be using this. I thought I was going to be like, yeah, this is what I don't use and this is why I don't use it. But we have a winner winner chicken dinner on our hands. Put that in the cake pile. Lastly, I'm going to be using a setting spray, which I never ever use, ever. I watch so many like makeup tutorials where at the end everyone's like spritzing their face and I'm just like, I never do that, ever. But I have this e.l.f. makeup mist and set spray and it has aloe green tea, cucumber and vitamins A, C and E in it, which I did use when I first got it and then I was like, well, I'm not seeing a difference so what's the point of putting it on? Yeah, let's give it a go and see if it actually does anything. It helps if I turn it around. Okay, so how far away am I supposed to put this? Oh, that smells quite nice, is it? You know what, I kind of get worried with setting sprays that it's just going to kind of dampen all my eyeliner and makeup and it's just going to smudge, but that wasn't too bad. It felt quite refreshing. Um, I don't really have any much to do on this. I mean, it's a setting spray. What's it supposed to do? Obviously, it's supposed to set it all in place, but I don't really see a difference or feel a difference. That's it. I don't think I'll be using setting sprays, to be honest, because, like I said, I don't really see the difference. But, I mean, if you have a good setting spray that you can recommend and you're like, how long you need to try it, it will change your life, you will think completely different about setting sprays, then let me know in the comments below because I'm happy to try out anything you tell me. My face is in your hands. So yeah, that is it for makeup products that I don't use slash don't like. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, of course. Give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you've never seen my videos before, then please subscribe, only if you want to. And I hope you have a very lovely day, week, weekend, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.